I just wanted to take a minute to share my thoughts on minimalism and what it means for me personally. And this is partly in response to a couple of comments that I've gotten recently or comments that I see on other people's channels that are focused on minimalism that I find a bit concerning. For me, minimalism is simply a tool to gain freedom. Freedom from the urge to buy things, freedom from the urge to live up to other people's expectations, to society's expectations, and simply freedom to live and create the life that I truly want to be living. There is, in my opinion, nothing wrong with owning material possessions as long as they add value to one's life. The issue really lies in the meaning that we assign to our material possessions. If certain material items gain more importance in one's life than one's actual relationships, that really is a bit tricky because at the end of the day, stuff really is just stuff and nothing more than that. Minimalism for me is something very individual and therefore there is no right or wrong way to go about it. My personal definition of minimalism is as follows. Minimalism is a tool that allows me to only have those items in my life that add value to my life. And this in turn gives me the freedom to do what I absolutely love. And in my case, this is traveling and moving around. Minimalism is also not necessarily about owning less or about stuff in general. Minimalism for me is simply a tool that allows me to move around, to travel the world and to do whatever I want to do without the need of a moving truck, really. And for me, it's not about owning a certain amount of items. For me, it's simply about owning what adds value and about simply living an intentional life full of experience versus full of stuff. Some of the comments that I've gotten were things such as, oh, I own a lot less and what you own is not minimalist. Or one of my favorite comments actually was, I earn this amount of money, you earn this amount of money, you are not a minimalist because you make so much more money than I do. and. When I read that comment, I was truly shocked because that is so far from my definition of minimalism. Minimalism for me is living in abundance, but not having a lot of stuff around me, but a life filled with experiences. And of course, money to a certain extent can help you experience those things that you want to experience. Minimalism is simply about focusing on the things that are truly important in your life. Relationships, hobbies that you want to pursue, finding your passion, living your passion. And if a collection of lipsticks truly brings you joy and you use them every single day, then by all means, go for it. But if that very collection or something else in your, in your life is holding you physically back, then I would say simply let go of it. If it doesn't serve you, try to eliminate it or reduce it. But if it's something that you love and that sparks joy and it brings you great happiness, then by all means, keep it. My experience when I talk to friends and family, that's usually one of the main reasons why they don't look further into living more minimal because they don't want to give up certain items that they think they have to give up in order to get the journey started. Anyway, I simply wanted to share the thoughts that I had in my head, wanted to film a quick video, nothing fancy really, and wanted to ask you what your personal definition of minimalism is. What is minimalism for you? What's its essence, if you want to say so? I would really love to hear that because Seeing other people's channels, reading blog posts, and talking to other people, I found that it's something completely different for everyone. And all our life situations are obviously completely different. Some of you might have kids, some of you may be retired, some of you may be living on the country, 
Some of you may be living in cities, some of you live in hot climates, some of you live in cold climates, some of you may be living in a place where it's really hot and really cold and all those things. We're all different yet we're all the same. We're all spiritual beings. We're all here uh, for a limited time and I was once on a bus when a fight broke out between two women that were sitting next to each other. I don't know what the fight was about, it was in London. And then a man stood up and screamed so the whole bus could hear. I cannot recall the exact wording, but it went something along those lines. We're all different leaves, but we're from the same tree. And in that moment I found that to be really profound, and I still do. As I said, I don't remember the exact wording, I think he phrased it a lot more poetically than I can recall it now, um, but what he said and the situation that we were all in, because we were all in a bus, we all witnessed a fight, was really, really eye-opening and I found that really, really inspiring. And that's really all I want to say, that everyone pursuing minimalism will be in a, at a different stage, will pursue it differently. And that's simply because that person's definition of minimalism is probably different to yours. Because while there's a big minimalist movement, everyone interprets it differently and everyone applies what they learn in a different manner. And that I also think is an incredibly good thing. Because if we would all be the same, life wouldn't be very exciting. Anyway, this is probably quite rambly because I simply wanted to speak my mind and share what I wanted to share with you today. I would love to hear from you as always. Have a lovely day and see you guys next time.